today and let's have a quick look at Spring 636. This is another plugin, another effect plugin by Arturia, part of the FX collection. And if you check my channel, you'll see that I'm adding more and more. Maybe I already did uh, cover all the plugins in the collection, which is uh, just about 15. So um, I really like this one. It sounds really gritty and uh, distorted. And, uh, you know, it, it, it's not just uh, a reverb. This is um, also a kind of a preamp. And you can see here that we, we can blend in and, you know, the, the preamp and reverb. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, let's just dive in and see what we've got here. And, and and before we start, if you like what I'm doing here, if you uh, if you enjoy the, the channel, subscribe, hit the like button and, you know, uh, you can follow me on Facebook. I have uh, some links in the description. And uh, if you have any questions or anything at all, any comments, leave them uh, just below the, the video and I'll do my best to answer. Right, so uh, um, again, I had to read the manual. I did it and uh, I suggest you do it too. So if you jump over to the, to the manual here, you'll see that you have a lot of information about, uh, of course, about this plugin, but also about some uh, history about River Basics and all that. If you uh, click here to the Arturia webpage, you'll see some of the history around this particular unit. This is uh, based on a Grampian 6336 uh, Spring Reverb. And uh, yeah, let's go back here. And so uh, not a lot of options here, but if you click these uh, triangles here, you'll get the extended view and you have extra stuff here below and we'll cover this in a moment. So reverb. First of all, we have our input signal here and we we can definitely drive the signal more and more up, you know, into distortion, which is, you know, useful. And you can use this unit also uh, just, you know, for reverb or preamp up to you. You can blend it. And uh, yeah, let's let's play with that and hear some some sounds. And uh, for, for the sounds, I'm using pigments. And if you don't know uh, pigment, this is a really, really cool synthesizer by Arturia. I really like it. It's, uh, I mean, it is uh, an analog wavetable sampler granular synthesizer. And I have a complete course on it in my channel. So check it out. So um, what, what we are hearing here is, is actually the, the overloading of the signal. And it's it's really cool. So you can you, you can use that. And then we have a, a decay. Now, th this is actually not uh, not something that you will find in the original uh, unit. So they added that one. And we also have widths. So uh, if, you, if you put this plugin on a mono channel, of course, you, you, you will not have that button. Okay, so you have more or less, I mean, mono and stereo signal here. You can blend it. And what more? So these two guys, they, they don't say a lot in the manual. What's the difference? It's just a different character of, uh, of the input signal. It's just, you know, a different way they uh, emulate the preamp. And then, uh, you know, finally, we, we can uh, do this and link the input and output. And so uh, if you drive the signal too hard, then you might want to uh, compensate here and, um, and reduce the output. Otherwise, you know, you, you'll be, you know, hearing very loud sounds. So it's basically possible for you to overload, but still maintain the volume. Right, so what else? So uh, as I said, you click 
this uh, button here on the right top and you'll get a whole bunch of stuff here. So first of all, you have a pre-delay. Again, this is not in the original unit. And it's between 0 and uh, 250 milliseconds of pre-delay. And then you have a pre-filter. So uh, the signal basically comes in, goes through the pre-delay, goes to the pre-filter, and you can activate this. And you can change the, the type. So you have low pass, high pass, bend pass, all these guys. And you have the frequency, the, the cutoff frequency, and you have resonance. What else? So we also have the tank select selector here. So the, the original unit doesn't have all these options. It, it only has the, the original Gibbs here. And all the others are just other types of tanks. And what, what is the tank? The tank is a container where the springs were you know, mounted. And that, that was the device that was actually uh, vibrating and creating the, the, the reverb sound, right? So you can mess around with that and they don't uh, really say a lot in the manual about what's the difference. You just have to, to try them out. Finally, we have a post equalizer. So after after the signal goes through all this, uh, you know, all this flow, then eventually it will go into the equalizer, and you can just attenuate here the the low low pass, and you have a high pass. Q gain. And I think this is pretty much it. So um, yeah, again, this is another plugin by Arturia, another one of the FX collection. And I, you know, I, I'm really impressed with all the plugins uh, in that collection. So uh, you know, really enjoying it. Check out my channel for more and more stuff from Arturia and from others. I have uh, some uh, some basic synthesis and and you know course and some uh, some other material and you're most welcome so i'll see you in the next videos thank you very much bye bye